Hi guys, I'm back with another Mini Kit Monday layout. This is my first process video for the Mini Kit Monday for February 2019. I am using these two photographs for this one page layout and it is about Valentine's Day. There you saw me have a fit about messing up cutting the mats of these photographs. And I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed. It's it's really user error because they're just not, they, they kind of slip if you don't hold them down really well. I got them at Tuesday morning sometime last year and I am using this American Crafts pattern paper. Isn't it adorable? I really, really like this paper. I really enjoyed using all of it for the most part because I did trim off a little bit of edge so that I could mat the paper or the background paper with that pink outline. I've been doing that a lot where I have outlines on my on my layouts and I'm always trying to use the trimmer to make mats for my photographs and I figured I'd give these a try. They didn't end up too bad but they do shift if you don't hold them down really well. Here you see that I use some stamps. Whoop whoop! I used the Lawn Fawn stamps for the books and one of them is the check this out and the other one is the science of love. I have no idea if these are still available but, available, but maybe you can find them used or on eBay or something. And I am trimming them out because I did stamp them on some actually use the back of pattern paper. I mean it, nobody's really going to care. N nobody in my family is going to care whether or not they're made on 100 pound cardstock or anything of the sort like I, I used the books and I thought it would tie in with the theme because we gave my son a book for Valentine's Day and he was really happy about that. So here you see that I do use the thickers. They're the Love Me. They have the title Love Me on them or that's the name of the collection that they're titled or whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> I put, I was going in, I was going to use the Happy Valentine's Day Sweetheart and I don't think it just, I just felt like it wouldn't fit. So I just cut it down to Happy Valentine's Day and I figured that would be enough. I think the, um, I left it out and I don't really don't mind it because I think they made the um, journaling pretty mushy. So I think <laughs> it conveys the sentiment that I'm trying to uh, express in the journaling. So here you see that I inked this love script paper and that's going to be kind of the base for all of my other elements to land on. I did make a pocket behind this paper so that I can you know hide my journaling because it is kind of mushy and also I think the elements turned out uh, super cute on the layout and I didn't not that the journaling would distract from it but I did want to include it on a library card because I thought the theme of books and the library card and that's what this gift was etc etc. Um, I wanted that mood and feel to the layout. And so here you see me adding all these elements. I had a pretty good idea that I did want to use hearts and those hearts were a die cut from a wafer thin die from Firefly and I got that set also at Tuesday morning. I did ink these hearts with the Tim Holtz Distress Ink because they needed some sort of contrast to pop from that busy patterned paper and they're kind of all in the same color family and I wanted to keep it kind of subtle because it, the, it really helps the photographs pop out and I really liked that aspect of the paper but all of this is coming from that February mini mega kit that I put together for this month and it all had the started with the February 2015 Scraptastic Kit Club It Takes Two kit and yeah I thought it was pretty cool. You see me pointing to that camera and that's from the Simple Stories Life and Color collection and I just felt like all your eye was coming to that black element down on the bottom left hand corner so I brought in some twine and then it kind of felt like that's all the color that there was on one side so I decided to bring it up top and I do end up using the XOXO glitter from Target and so I'm just basically playing with the hearts and the books because I wanted some clusters to kind of bring your eye about the page and also bring some emphasis on the book and you know the, just to convey the feel that it is for Valentine's Day. I had a lot of fun doing this layout. I think I've been having a lot of fun doing the layouts this month and it's because they're so lovey-dovey. <laughs> but 
I don't mind that. I think it also conveys a lot of happiness. I did try to use these authentic word strips. They did not end up working for me because I couldn't find like sentiments as a whole. I think because they're single words, it's harder for me to just convey feeling with those. I don't know why, but um, here's most of it for the, you know, general idea. And then I do come back in a live video and I explain what else I added. If I didn't explain, I did use some shimmer spray at the end. And I do show the layout with those sequins, the EXO sequins. So here's the rest of the explanation for the video and I hope you enjoyed. Okay, so I'm back with a finished layout. I kind of forgot to do the process. I did most of it on camera and it's, you know, you get the main idea. I did end up adding some black glitter letters that from the XO from that jar from Target, this one right here, for sequins. Glitter. I said glitter, didn't I? I kept saying glitter too in the video. And I added them here. I glued down these uh, enamel dots that are from the Cute Girl collection. So I added some here and here and here. I'm sorry if my lighting is horrible. I just got a new shelf that my camera is sitting on and I only had one. I couldn't, I didn't have another color to set here. And I could have sworn I had an extra packet of this Cute Girl. The the cute girl enamel dots it comes like this and it has the hearts and the dark pink and the light pink and then those sequins well i i couldn't find it anywhere so i don't know what happened to it or maybe i was thinking i had one and i didn't i also ended up adding the thickers letters and I added some more to bring that color out too. And the reason why I added those black sequins is because the camera itself kind of everything was kind of just pulling this way because of this dark element here. So I added I added the twine first and then I still felt like it needed something because it was just really bottom heavy. So then I added these little black elements to this part right here. That one isn't showing, there you go. So that it would kinda, you could see them. They really call the eye your attention. They really call your attention to move around the page. And those black elements really help kinda pop around. And I like the fact that I added the chat too for Tim, from Tim Holtz. One says, I love you. This one says, me and you stuck like glue, XOXO. Good things come in small packages. And I think it really ties in also with the black and white that come into the camera. The reason why I added this is because I like the type. This is also like newsprint and this is like newsprint or I don't know if that's what it's called, but I brought it into with this pattern paper to bring in more of that out to the forefront and that's why I was able to bring in this camera. I had pulled out several things to use. I pulled these two out and this, I really tried to use this acrylic. Yes, it would not make it. I even thought about pulling in some other ones and it just still didn't make it. This flare came out and it didn't get used. And I think that is about it that I had pulled from my larger kit into the kit itself. I think the only other thing that I had pulled to really use was this. So these are the things that didn't get used that I had pulled out for this specific page. I did also use this Heidi Swap blush color shine and also this recollections green shimmer I really like that color from the green shimmer and I think that's about it I don't have I think the one that I've been wanting is the sweet mint from Heidi swap and I don't have that one so yeah that's my page I really had a lot of fun doing it oh I also went back and I inked these hearts I don't know if I show that on the video Oh, look, I just touched that ink. I was still wet. So I better not touch the rest of my layout. I inked the hearts because I felt like they needed to stand out a little bit more. And it was so hard to find an ink that really would go with these hearts. I ended up going with, I used the Evergreen Bow. And then I used the Weathered Wood for this paper. And then for the pink, I used the, the Picked Raspberry. So that's what I ended up using. I like the Picked Raspberry because it ended up going with the arrows. The color really matched the arrows really well. And then these are laundry fun stamps and I used uh, Heidi Swap inks. Pretty simple. I did use, I really like that I used some foam for dimension. I really, it really helped because when I was laying it out, everything looked really flat. Once I started in my stamped images on foam, I really, and the uh, hearts, I did this one heart and then I put some behind the book, this heart, this heart, this book. So I kind of did dimension on all the points that I wanted you to see. I made a pocket behind this for journaling. So that's where my journaling is gonna go for my son, like a library card to 
go with the theme of that he received a book for Valentine's Day and he really liked that idea. So that is my layout. This one love sticks out and I don't know that I'm in love with it, but it's there and it's been used too. And so that's what really matters. In the end, nobody's going to be like, why is this all by itself and gold and whatever. So <laughs> I'm trying to be comfortable with it not being perfect it's done. That's my layout. Thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to check out the other ladies that are also participating in Mini Kit Monday. We have Becky Tracy Dolly. She's scrapping on the go. There's Kathy Feigl, Jojo, and there's also Leslie. Don't forget to stop by their channels and watch their videos and give them some love. So if you have any questions or comments or if you'd like to give this video a thumbs up, have a great Monday and we'll see you for the next one. Bye!